my channel and welcome to the new year where today I'll be doing my hair. So this is my hair currently, I'll do like a little 360 just so you can see it. So my plan is basically just to cut the sides down because they're getting really long and it kind of just irritates me when they go over my ears. And then I may cut the top but I feel like it might be okay because I cut it more recently than the sides. So we'll kind of just see when I cut the sides if it looks too long by comparison. But I definitely want to leave like this chunk of my hair at the back because I want to try and grow a rat tail this year. But I'm not going to cut that at all this year, I'm just going to let it grow and hopefully it will get to a proper length by the end of the year. My hair grows quite fast to be honest, despite the fact that I bleach it and dye it all the time. So I'm really really hopeful that I'll be able to get a proper one by the end of the year. But I have a feeling it's just going to come down to here. But anyway, let's get started. I'm going to start by tying up the top of my hair with elastics. Just to keep it out of the way a little bit while I shave down the sides. Why do I actually really like these little tufty bits on the side of my head? That looks really cute. To shave my sides I have my clippers. These are my dad's old clippers. He bought a new better set so he gave me his old ones for free which is very very nice of him. And then the guard I put on it is a number 4 in this brand and it's half an inch. I always use the same guard every single time I do it just so I know exactly how long my hair is going to be at the end. As I expected that's taken all the colour out the sides of my hair which makes it easier when cutting the top because I can actually see the divide very very well. What do I want to do cutting wise? I think the sides need a little bit of taking off. This section here is the one I want to grow out so we're definitely leaving that. I remember there being a weird piece somewhere. Oh no, that's part of the bit I'm growing out, that's why it looks a bit weird. Let's just cut down the sides just a little bit. I did this so recently, there really isn't any point. And last time I did it, I cut it way too short, so I definitely don't want to do that again. I feel like this side comes up higher than this side. Yeah, I think that actually was maybe part of the short bit. For some reason it's grown out over a few times. And yes, I know, it's not a very good line. But at the same time, my hair always covers it, so it doesn't actually matter. I think we're good on the cutting front. I'm going to clear up all this hair, and then I'm going to come back to you when I'm bleaching. For the bleaching section, I use this. I always use the same one because I've used other brands before, and they either didn't do anything or they burnt my scalp. And this one never does, so I always trust it. It's also the eight tones one because, as you can probably see now that I've cut it, my hair is actually very dark. Lots of people in my real life assume I'm blonde because I don't have eyebrows, so they kind of think, oh, you must be blonde, and that's why you don't have eyebrows. But my hair is actually really dark, which is very annoying annoying when you want to dye it the colours that I do because I always have to bleach it quite a lot. I wish I had lighter hair so I didn't have to bleach it, but oh well, we can't really change that can we? This is a three part solution, so there is a developer cream, a bleaching powder and then a lightening cream. And I'm just going to mix these all together in a bowl off camera because I'm worried if I do it up here I'm just going to drop it. I feel like it's safer if I do it down there. So I've got my bleach ready, I'm going to put it on my hair now. And I'm very sorry if it stresses you out that I don't wear gloves when I bleach my hair. I specifically do it so I can feel where I'm going better. Also, if it's burning my hands, it's definitely going to burn my scalp. So I kind of do it as a safety precaution as well. Also, partially the reason is that these boxes only come with one set of gloves and I need those gloves for the dyeing process because the dye I buy doesn't come with gloves. So I need the gloves and I also don't want to buy sets of gloves just to do my hair because that feels like a waste of gloves when people definitely need them a lot more than I do just to bleach my hair when bleaching my hair is always been fine without gloves. I always start at the front of my hair because I want that bit to look the best. Honestly don't really care about what the back of my hair looks like because I never see it. Which is also a reason I'm growing a rat tail because I want to be able to see the back of my hair by having it kind of on this side of my head. And for the first round I only go on my roots as they are obviously a lot darker but also they're the only bit that's not bleached. Everything with colour on it already has bleach on it so that doesn't take as long to lift. Also try not to damage my hair too much. Obviously it's going to get damaged, but that's fine. That's kind of just the price you pay when you dye your hair a lot. In my mind, if it falls out one day, it's fine. I did it myself. There's no one else to blame but me. If it fell out when I was having it done by a professional, I think I'd be very, very mad. But if it fell out when I was doing it, I wouldn't mind at all. Basically there are a lot of reasons why I don't get my hair professionally done and that's obviously nothing against people who do hair professionally, it's just my personal choice. Especially with the colour that I want to have in my hair, it would be incredibly expensive to have done in a salon because obviously I have to pay to be in their seat for 3-4 hours while it sets into my hair. So I understand why it's that expensive but to me it's just not worth the price at all and I'd rather do it at home. I've been thinking about doing my nails myself recently. Again, kind of for the same reason that I don't get my hair done. Nails are very expensive, but I absolutely love having coloured nails. So I'm thinking of getting like a gel and a gel lamp and doing it at home by myself. I can't stand putting normal nail varnish on my nails just because it takes so long to dry. I don't know how people have the patience for that. I just can't sit there for an hour or so while it completely sets. I need to be doing stuff all the time and I need to be able to use my hands for that. So it's just 
not practical. Whereas if I had a lamp, I could just put them under the lamp for a minute or two and then still have the same results. It just obviously feels very expensive starting out because I have to buy everything and I don't have any nail related things. So we'll see how that goes. If I do end up getting it, I might make a video on it. We will see. Top's done, I can now move on to the sides. The sides don't take anywhere near as long. I have to make sure it's very saturated because I always end up making it really patchy. I'm not even sure how because it's so short, but for some reason it always ends up incredibly patchy, especially at the back. So I'm gonna try my absolute best not to make it patchy today because it's more embarrassing if it's on video. Now that I look like this, it's not a great look but it's a practical look. I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes and then I'll be back to do the ends of my hair. So it's been about 15 minutes and it's going okay. I still have some dark patches, but hopefully this next round of bleach will fix all of that. This is the same bleach that I was using before, but I added in the blue shampoo that comes in the box. This is a toner, so it'll hopefully bleach my hair in a way that will make it more white than yellow. It tends to work and it also means that my hair is more protected from the bleach. And in the same vein as the first round, I just go from the front. But this time I'm gonna cover the whole hair, including the ends of my hair. The blue is also very helpful with seeing it. Like I can see exactly where I've put the bleach where it's not been put yet. It's just very helpful. If you had blue hair maybe it wouldn't be as helpful. But my hair currently is purple and green so it's great. And this won't dye my hair blue by the way. There's no actual colour pigment. I'm not quite sure why it doesn't dye my hair blue but it doesn't. I know that people where they have really really white blonde hair, blue shampoos can dye their hair. But for me it bleaches it and it doesn't turn it blue. I don't know the science. If someone can explain the science to me that'd be very helpful. It would just be a fun thing to know. Another upside of the conditioner is that I can expand the amount of bleach that I have. So I don't have to use two boxes, I can do my whole head with just one box. Which is obviously cheaper, so very helpful for me. I'd also use everything in the box because I wouldn't use the conditioner if I wasn't doing this. Because I don't have my hair blonde. And I don't put it over my coloured hair because I'm worried it's going to affect the colour. Like if I had yellow hair and I'm putting blue conditioner over it, it's going to take away those yellow tones. And that's obviously not what I want. So I don't use it all that much. So this also stops me having waste. The only downside of this is I can't see the progress. I can't see how blonde it's getting underneath all the blue but I always put it on for the same amount of time and it turns out fine so that's not really an issue for me but if someone else was doing this I'm not quite sure how they would work out how to do it without a lot of trial and error I only recently started doing this I used to just add normal conditioner into my hair but then I realized that why aren't I using the stuff that comes in the box and I started using this one instead Okay, that's all the bleach on. I'm just going to leave it to set for about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to come back to you tomorrow when I dye it because I never dye it and bleach it on the same day because I don't have enough time in the day to do both of them and do other things. So we're just going to do it tomorrow and I will see you then. So this is the blonde hair. I feel like it came out quite good actually. I'm not quite sure how the back looks, but the front looks very good and the sides are better than I can usually get them. So I'm very happy about that. And we're now going to go on to dyeing. For dyeing, I have a lot of dyes set out. We've got green and yellow. These are going to be these two sides. And then I've got got orange which is this one and then I've got a black and a red I'm gonna mix these together to make a dark red to do this side but first step of doing my hair is obviously dividing it I'm just gonna divide it with some hair bands and this is always so annoying to do that's probably the best I can do the back is not perfect but I feel like it's gonna be okay so to dye my hair I'm gonna use the gloves that came with the bleach and I'm gonna start with the yellow to do this bit of my hair I just use them straight out of the tub so I feel like there's no point putting them into another pot especially when the brush fits so perfectly into the pot they're really isn't any point and I do this in the exact same way I do my bleach I start at the front of my hair and slowly work backwards it just takes a lot longer because I have to do loads of different colors but it's not too bad it usually takes me about half an hour I can also do the whole hair in one go I don't have to do the roots and then the ends so that also helps it not take as long I always find that the yellow looks like it's not really working when I originally put it on because the roots always show up so much darker than the ends it always tends to work out in the end so I just keep my fingers crossed and hope that it turns out the same as it always does I definitely trust the dye so that's a good thing. These are the Manic Panic dyes in case I didn't say before. Also I have a very dark patch right at the back of my head which is kind of annoying me but at least it's on the back of my head and not the front. So that's the yellow all done. I'm going to go on to the orange. I feel like there's no point washing the brush because it's going to be basically the same colour anyway. So I'm just going to keep going with this brush for now and then just slap it on like I did before. I just realised that this hair is going to give very much Bowser from Mario when it's done. I should do makeup inspired by Bowser just while I have this hair because that's very fitting. Or maybe I could even do like a cupboard cosplay of Bowser. That would be fun. If you want to see that, give this video a like just so I can tell if people actually want to see that or not. I'm never quite sure whether I should theme my makeup looks or not because obviously people don't necessarily know certain characters but I feel like Bowser is quite a universal one that most people know so I think maybe I will do that we'll see 
Okay, now that I've dyed my neck orange dropping the brush, I think we're done with the top. I'm gonna go wash my gloves, wash my brush, and come back to do the sides. So the sides is a much easier process, just like bleaching the sides. It takes no time at all, about five minutes, which is great because this takes about three hours to set. So the quicker I can get it on, the quicker I can get it off and actually do something. I mean, I could do things with it on. I just do things inside my house. I don't really want to go outside like this. I mean, I could, but I'd worry about like hitting it against a wall or someone walking past me and they're getting dye on them. So that's the reason why I don't do that. We're gonna go on to the green now, which is definitely my favorite color of hair dye. I don't know what it is about green. I just feel like it looks so good on my hair. Maybe it's because I'm so pale, the green definitely stands out a lot more. I just feel like the green always looks good. As the final colour is a mix, I'm going to use a bowl. I'm going to do it off camera because it's very hard to do it up here. I will say I'm not fully taken with this colour, but we're going to put on the hair anyway and just see how it goes. I know for a fact this black isn't the best. It kind of doesn't really dye my hair for some reason. So it's probably going to end up a little bit more red than it looks in the bowl, but we will see. Even if it looks bad, it's only temporary dye, so it's not going to be in my hair forever. I'm not completely sold on the colour, but I feel like it looks slightly better on my hair. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to leave this in my hair for about three or four hours. And then I'll see you tomorrow when I'm going to show you the final result and do some makeup to match. So this is the final result of my hair. It came out so much better than I thought it would, especially this red that I wasn't sure about. I feel like now this side is really dark and this side's really light. And I really like that. I feel like it has a good contrast to it. And I was originally going to do my makeup on camera, but I was editing this video last night and it is very long. So I just did it off camera today. I stuck to red, orange and yellow. I tried to bring in green at one point, but it did not look good. These little hearts were originally green. It wasn't working with the look. I felt like it looked very fiery and then having random green didn't really work but I will do a look with green and red at some point I'm trying to stop myself thinking of those colors as being Christmassy because weirdly with my hair I don't think of it as a Christmassy thing but in makeup I always think it looks Christmassy so we'll see how that goes in the future but yeah that's it for this video I really hope you enjoyed it and you enjoyed seeing me ruin my hair a little bit more if you did please give this video a like comment down below your favorite color I just want to know and subscribe to the post new video every single week and I'd love to see you again but until then bye